Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Earlier on, Yabojo had, earlier on, Yabojo had leaked all our chats, our WhatsApp chats with Yomi Fabi on this case of Baba Jesha as we're going back and forth. And since the beginning of this case, Yabo Ojo and Yomi Fabi seems to have been fighting for justice. Yabo Ojo has been fighting specifically for justice for the 14 years old girl. And Yomi Fabi has been fighting for justice partly for the human rights of Baba Jesha and also for... And he also says he wants justice for the 14 years old girl. And with Yomi Fabi and Yabo Ojo going back and forth on social media, they've both engaged in social media spats, calling each other names and all sorts. However, the two of them acknowledge that they're very good friends. But then this case has made their friendship turn sour. But then, many people are taught this case had made their friendship turn sour. And the Abba Joe even went further to serve Yomi Fabi a lawsuit and claiming damages of 100 million naira and public apology from the Yuba up to Yomi Fabi. Yomi Fabi in turn shared the evidence of which he said that he did not wrongly accused Yabo Ojo for saying that she will kill Baba Jesha if he is released. Yobi Fabi made a confession to be in love with Yabo Ojo, who is one of the most successful women we have in the Nigerian movie industry. And he says that he genuinely likes her and would want her hand in marriage. He also mentioned that he answers 15 times when Yabo Ojo calls him only once. And for over a decade, they've maintained a very good friendship. And also, Yomi Fabi went further that he's released a movie titled Oko Yabo. And today, some hours ago, he says that he's Yabo's husband. And according to him, anyway, Nami be with her husband, Oko Yabo to the world. Nami go marry you last, last, or Remy. We could have soft spots for each other before. Make I retoast you again. Yabo. Ogba, Abi Ogba. And Yabo is a nice person. Something is wrong somewhere. I want you to back. While many Nigerians are saying that Yomi Fabi is just catching crews with this case by bringing their friendship and past relationship into this. And as it is, Yomi Fabi is currently working on a movie titled Oko Yabo, which in English means Yabo's husband. Meanwhile, as we had earlier reported, Yomi Fabi is talking about TV song barristers and human rights activists to speak with Baba Jesha. Why he claimed that Baba Jesha told him that he did not defile this girl when she was seven years old. And the first place he met this girl was at the garage when some touts were harassing her for money and he went to rescue this little girl from the touts. He also went further to insinuate that Princess and Yabojo didn't it's tell okay. and he also went further to insinuate that Yabojo and Princess didn't tell the whole story. In addition to all this, Yomi Fabi believes that Nigerians in the diaspora are one of the messiahs of Nigeria and he says, and in his words, stop sending money alone, send materials or information on human rights to your folks. That saves more and take majority of Nigerians out of darkness. Diaspora, who has seen it all and enjoyed what human rights is, should rise up to the occasion. Not oppressors who, I mean Nigerians that really understand what human rights is all about. There can be true justice delivered if the accused suspect, victim or complainant are denied fair hearing or their human rights, it is criminal backwardness and a bad omen. That is just the simple truth. The idea of locking suspects up for weeks without bill or trial is the identity of an old, undemocratic, dictatorial pattern. It is illegal and unconstitutional to say the least. Only oppressors or ignorant folks reason or support such against the provision of the law. It is one tool commonly used to hurt any less privileged or voiceless. In fact, it is the biggest and most terrible police brutality. No sane and civilized person should support no matter the circumstances. Nowhere in the constitution of the country or legal state that stipulates the DPP can issue direct order or advice to detain suspects on billable offense indefinitely in police law. Only a court of law can do that. I stand to be corrected. This is oppression and will incite violence. The police should do the needful and follow the law. Worst case scenario, release Baba Jesha to me on administrative bill, and I shall lose no time to provide him to answer to his allegations in court. He's my senior colleague, popular actor, and never had past known criminal record, not a flight risk. He deserves to be treated with dignity in his country. It is his right, and all DPOs and all law enforcement facilities should grant all eligible for bill in their respective cells. Human rights violation is evil, an enemy of peace. So stop the criminality and brutality now. And when he released the chat with Yabo Ojo, he wrote, Nigeria is sit down, you jumped on my harmless post and subjected me to cyberbullying, which you Yabo confessed to and, and invariably apologized. You didn't send me later. 
but posted on social media. I realize some of your fans don't know the meaning, and most likely you too. But yeah, but I care so much about you, and I'm having restraint to hit you since. If I fight you as in the you're gonna see Chris. Don't let anyone push you. They don't know where we both coming from. If you press too much, I will turn. All there's an assassin from wherever. No cuckoo work. You should know I be a kanda. Um, combination of a woman and a man. I don't want to come for you. Go and see how we can help princess with the imminent criminal charges coming for her. When the court resumes. Honesty is the first chapter in the book of wisdom. No matter your status, education, position or religion. If you lack human rights understanding, you are a threat to public peace. And you are not civilized. Women are dignified. To display such on social media is to groom the next generation of bias and emotional people. Instead of those who will follow the law. The law is the law. Sexual assault, TTC are billable offenses. The law enforcement must respect and honor this. It is one of the major pathways to a peaceful society. Leave emotions, don't create your own laws when a crime is committed. And never support any idea that would deny anybody his or rights. It may be your turn tomorrow. Whether you're on trial, innocent or guilty. Nobody is saying Baba Jesha is innocent or guilty and that he shouldn't be tried. But keeping him without granting him bill, administrative, as the case is a billable one, is oppression and abuse of his fundamental rights. Check with anybody who opposes this. They are either uninformed, emotional, or lack knowledge on human rights. If they are a majority in the community, oppression will always have a few day around them, whether they live in Nigeria or abroad. Peaceful protest is human rights. We must express ourselves against arbitrary use of illegal imprisonment, police brutality, bias justice system, police detention without trial, or billable offenses, etc. The pathway to progress and a peaceful society and country, human rights is key to peace. The law enforcement and elected officials are the major people that ought to protect human rights. Using the tools of government or laws wrongly to oppress citizens is the most wicked, to say the least. To have leaders who do not care about human rights is to have no leaders at all. We want fairness, justice, equal rights and human rights protection of all, no matter the situation. If you want justice and remedy, do not lie. Cook up, set people up, etc. Engage the police on three incidents. To sanitize and promote the frontiers of human rights, it is a quest every young adult must be willing to risk their all for. Human rights abuse is criminal, illegal and demonic. Never indulge in it. It will be your turn tomorrow. Before you can be loved and appreciated, you may be hated, misconstrued, abused first. Just stand by what is right. Don't be arrogant with ignorance. Turn out sound, informed, civilized and knowledgeable. Online and offline. Spend more time in the library, online or offline, than on social media. That way, you won't have to join positions with fools and deceive people. Better, you'll keep standpoints that will free and dignify people. Society, no matter the circumstances. It is criminal to use a child as props, bait in illegal setup. Say no to setup, say no to torture, say no to false confession and obtaining statements under duress. Illegal police detention. Don't wait until it is done to your relative, brother, sister, or you. We have come to the end of this episode where the Yoruba actor Yomifabi says that he and Yabo Ojo are getting married soon since they have soft spots for each other. We hope you enjoyed this episode and let's know new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily contents. Meanwhile, we'll be bringing you updates on Baba Jessa's case.